Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video. I am excited for today because we are fishing for bass. I'm excited. I haven't caught a smallmouth and I don't even know how long. But yeah, we're heading to this lake. My cousin and his friend have been going here and they've been absolutely messing them up. Just throwing spinners from shore. So that's what we're gonna do. I got spinners or polis, crankbaits, curl tails, and you never know. If we start catching them, we might mess around with the fly rod. So my friend Grayson's actually meeting us out here too to do some fishing. We haven't seen Grayson in a while, so that'll be fun. And of course, at the end of the day, if we start catching them, we're gonna do a little smallmouth bass catching cook. Stay tuned. Wow, it is quite windy today. Like, very windy. Oh, that's not good. Turn right. Whatever you say, baby. And here we are, folks. Beautiful 100 degree day with the wind blowing just a little bit. But anyway, I decided on this spot because there's some rocks down there. There's a ton of big boulders. And for the most part, all around this lake, I'm not seeing a ton of rocks. And for smallmouth, I don't know much, but I know that fishing around rocks is what you want to do. Step one to any successful fishing day, stay hydrated. Oh, look at that. I'm getting to break out my bass box. I've got so many lures and I never use them. Literally, I use like three things. This is just for show. Well, we're just gonna use what we always use. Got a big gold spinner with an orange feather. That looks pretty good. All right, I apologize in advance for this wind noise. We'll embrace it together. Whew. Oh yeah, lovely. So we're just gonna start right here. We got a ton of big boulders and rocks. There's probably quite a few smallmouth just hanging out right around here. Oh, why on the one day I come here, it's like 50 mile an hour winds. Anyway, give it a first cast of the day. Oh, that water is warm. That is some warm water, holy cow. Oh, there we go. There's a little fish. No way. Holy crap, dude. Five casts in, we've got a fish. Check that out, dude. That is not a small mouth. It is in fact a giant green sunfish. That is freaking awesome. I haven't caught one of these in a while either. On a spinner too. That is a gorgeous fish. We gotta get a pick of that guy. No, 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 no. Well. There he goes, didn't even get a picture of him. That blows. Dude, that was awesome. A little bluegill should not make me that excited, but it does. I've been catching so many trout, a little green sunfish. That, oh man, that's awesome. You know, I'm not opposed to cooking one of those guys up. If we catch some biggins that size, cause I mean, that was a good sized sunfish. If we catch a couple more like that, we might cook one up along with some bass that we're hopefully gonna catch. All right, folks, so here's the deal. We have switched spots to this lake right here. The lake we were fishing is just right up there and it dumps into this one. So the wind's not quite as bad down here. It is still somewhat windy, but I'm thinking this will be better and the water is a little bit clearer. So I don't know, hopefully there's fish in here. First cast, just right along the shore. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, second cast, I got bit. I thought it was a rock and no, there was a bass following behind it. Dang it. Come on, come back, come back. Got him, got him. What is that? No way. It's another freaking sunfish. Dude, I'm here to catch bass. What is this guy doing? Well, dude, a fish is a fish, man. Not the one we're after. I wanna catch a bass, man. Thanks for biting though, appreciate it. Come on. Now I could catch a small bluegill, 
toss him on a circle hook, throw him under a bobber and toss him out in the middle. That is an effective strategy, all right? I speak from experience. Highly illegal, highly effective though. Oh, little guy. Oh, that's a little small mouth. A little small mouth. Got him, right there. No, that's just another. Mm. Dude, ugh. cool, another fish, third one. Third one of these, toss them back. So I'm thinking we just gotta weed through all the bluegills. There's no avoiding them, you just gotta catch them. And eventually, we'll run into a smallmouth. There we go. That feels a little bit nicer. If this is a bluegill, I'm gonna be, oh. Dude, he fought hard, props. Looks like they're full of eggs too. That's a chubby little guy. They're so pretty. These are cool fish, just not what I'm after. There we go, that's a fish. And that is not a bluegill either. That is a smallie for sure. Wait, no way, no way. Are you, ki are you kidding me? Is this a joke? I just caught a freaking trout. It's 100 degrees outside. There should not be trout hitting spinners right now. But, dude, I just can't get rid of them. I can't get away from them. Well, and there he goes. And now he's gonna play dead. <laughs> there he is. Get out of here, buddy. I am not trying to catch a trout today. I came here so I wouldn't. But, I mean, there are trout in here, so. That's not super unusual. All right guys, so I've switched to a, from a spinner to a little Rapala. And Grayson's fly fishing with a mud, what is it? Clouser minnow. So we'll see who gets bit first. Hopefully not from a bluegill, but by a bass. Oh, there we go. <sighs> bluegill on the Rapala. I don't know, at some point I'm gonna start keeping some of these. He's lucky. I'm hoping there's like an evening. Oh, I just got hit right when it hit the water. Little. For now he's starting to fight. Please be a smallie, please be a smallie. Oh, it is, it's a smallie, yes. First bass, look at that, yes. That's the first bass in like a year. <laughs> Heck yeah. That was right when it hit the water. First smallmouth in like a year for me. That would be a good one to keep, but I'm gonna let the first one go. All right, little guy, thanks for biting. Sweet. Two hours to get our first smallmouth, but we did it. Well, that was five, 10 minutes of using the Rapala, so they might, might have found something they want. Oh, got him. Oh, that's just a giant bluegill. Holy. Oh my, I don't think, this might be my biggest bluegill ever. My biggest sunfish. She's definitely got eggs in her. She's freaking huge. We'll let this girl go so she can go spawn. That is an absurdly fat bluegill. My goodness. There we go. There we go, that was out in the middle, so this might be a bass. In fact, yep, out in the middle. Another smallie. Heck yeah, dude. Another smallie out in the middle. So they might be hanging out on the bottom. Now this guy is a little too small to keep. Even these little fish put up just such a good fight. It's crazy. See ya. Bass number two. Oh, there we go. That's a good, oh no. That was a big smallmouth. shoot. Jumped and shook me off. Gosh, dang it. I'm hoping there's, oh, there's another one. There's another one. That's a good one. That's a good fish on the bottom. Yeah, another, wait, is that, a, is that a smallie or a largie? That's a smallie. Same spot, dude. That might be a good one to keep. You know what, guys? I'm gonna keep this fish just because I don't know how many more bass I'm gonna catch. And I wanna ensure that I have something to cook at the end of the day. That's not a huge one by any means. We're not gonna get a ton of meat off of them, but we're gonna get something. Beautiful Smalley. Smack his head on a rock and then we're gonna keep fishing.
So I just got that fish staked down in the mud for now. Hopefully he doesn't float away. That was two smallmouth, almost back to back. Just casting it out there in the middle, letting it sink a few feet, and then slowly bringing it back. There we go, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Well, every small mouse feels like a good one, but this feels like the biggest one for sure. Dude, he is staying down. This actually might be a good fish. Oh my gosh. He is hugging the bottom. Holy cow. This feels like a good one. He is not coming up. He is not coming up. Holy crap. He is dragging me around. Dude, this is a good one. This is a good one. This might be my biggest small mouth ever, honestly. Or he's just fighting hard. I forget, these smallmouth, even if they're small, they put up a fight. So we could be getting tricked here. Oh, it is a good one. It is a good one though. Oh, I haven't even seen, oh, that's a giant. That's a freaking giant smallie. That's a giant. Grayson went up to get his spinning gear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got him. Got him, dude. <laughs> Look at that small mouth. Dude, that is my biggest small mouth ever right there. Easy. Are you freaking kidding? Out in the middle on a Rapala. Yeah, Grayson went up to get his spinning gear. Too bad he missed that. Look at that sucker. All right, there we go guys. That is my biggest small mouth of my life. Put up a heck of a fight. Like that is a beautiful fish. I'm so glad I decided to come out here today. What is that, fourth one, I think? Yeah, I think so. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Here we go. There he goes. Heck yeah. All right, let's get some more. Yep, that's a fish. What the heck? Thought I hooked some seaweed or something. It's a good smallie. He was not fighting there for a second. No! I've lost two smallies and I've landed four. Pretty good. And about a dozen bluegill. Oh, there's another one. Wait. Dude, I can't tell. No, that's a fish. Yep, that's a fish. Tiny. Little smallie. A little smally. Cool. Bass number five. Any bass is a good bass. Hey, there he goes. First cast. <laughs> I went up to charge some batteries in my truck. I come back down first cast. We hook up. Not a bad one. Fat smally. I think we'll keep him too. It's good cooking size. Yeah, another fat smallie. This is probably the size of most of the fish in there. It's about 10, 11 inches or so. We're thinking that it's the color of my Rapala because Grayson still hasn't got one and he's using a fire tiger pattern. But they're sure liking this brown trout. All right, we'll take our stoning tool here. Put them on our stringer. There we go. Two nice smallmouth. We're gonna fillet those guys up a little later and cook them up. Hey, there we go. There we go, right from under this rock. Well, along this little rock wall. Nice. It's the first smallie in like an hour. All right. Oh, there's a little fish jumping out there. Bass, probably. There we go. Sweet. I love these smallies. See you later. There we go, that's a good one, that's a good one. That's a good one. Right on this little rock hump that goes out to the middle. Oh, it's a trout! What the crap, you know what? Dude, we're gonna keep this. No! Dang it. I was gonna have bass and trout. That's kind of funny. I came here to avoid the trout and that was the second one I've caught today. 
There we go. Nice. Man, they fight so hard. This is so much fun. <laughs> hey, there he goes. There's a fish. There's a fish. I slowed it down and I was just barely cranking it. It's not really fighting. He's staying down. That's a nicer fish. Dude, that, that's a good fish. Definitely not a small one. It's probably not quite as big as that one earlier, but it's not bad. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Bring him over by shore. Dude, I was going slow. Very slow. Right out in the middle of the channel. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh, he's blind in one eye. Whew, I'm scared. Got him. Got him. Not a bad one. Second biggest one. Not, not as big as that other one, but it's probably just under a pound or so. There we go. It's probably going to be the last one for me. And he's actually missing an eye. So, yeah, I don't know. That's cool, though. I love these fish. Oh. oh, where is he? Where is he? He's blind. There he goes. <laughs> All righty. While Grayson's using my rod, I'm going to fillet up our little small mouth here. See what they've been eating. That's what I'm curious. We're going to use this rock as our cutting board. It's not super flat, but it'll have to do. And I've only, I don't know, I've filleted small mouth before, but... I haven't filleted many of them, so this is probably going to be really bad, especially since we're doing it on a rock. As long as we can get most of the meat off of them. That wasn't too bad. We're going to cut his stomach open, see what they've been eating. Doesn't seem very full. In fact, I don't even think there's anything in there. Stomach is literally empty. Hmm. I was thinking they were going to be full of minnows because there's just been tons of minnows on shore all day. See what this guy's been eating. Okay, this guy has something in his stomach. Let's see. Oh, crawdads. Little crawdad claws. So yeah, I'm thinking next time we come here, we throw tube jigs. Yeah, something that mimics a crawdad. All right, there we go. Got four smallmouth fillets. I don't think I did too bad for only having filleted one smallmouth in my life and doing it on a rock that is not flat. All right guys, well, we are calling it for fishing. It was an okay day, not a great day. I caught two big old smallmouth. Like I, I'm pretty pleased with my performance. Grayson on the other hand, caught one smallie and a couple little gillies on the fly rod too, so. But we got like an hour left of daylight and we're gonna head up and cook those smallmouth fillets. Should be fun. First, we have to climb up this literal cliff do it for the video, just fall. Snap my neck for the video. <laughs> All right. Whew. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. All right, guys, so for the recipe today that we're gonna be cooking our small mouth in, got some Tapatio hot sauce. We're gonna use that as our wet ingredient. And then we're gonna bread them in some all-purpose flour, toss them in some vegetable oil. Easy as that. This is a good recipe for like white bass and walleye. A lot of people have done this on YouTube, so I figured we'd give it a try with the old bass. I'm glad I had this stove with the wind guard because it is still kind of breezy out here. I think it would have calmed down by now, but nope. Pour some oil in. Just use up the rest of it. Take some flour, pour it in the Ziploc bag. There we go. We'll take our hot sauce and pour it in this bag. Hot sauce, small mouth. Sounds pretty good, huh? So we got our hot sauce, and I'll take our small mouth fillets and just drop them in. This important fishing item. Oh shoot, I forgot to cut them up. 
I was gonna cut the fillets up in little nuggets. I got fish going. Grayson's got the old beef beef ravioli meat sauce MRE. You got Skittles in that one? I'll find out. Do an unboxing. Come on. The ravioli, chocolate banana muffin top. Delicious. The TP and the moist towelette and the gum and the Tabasco. The spoon. In Afghanistan in 2003, an army ranger killed a man with one of these. The M&Ms. All right, we got our hot sauce, covered filet. The wheat snack bread. I'll die of thirst before I finish it. This is gonna be good. I did this recipe with trout not too long ago, and it wasn't bad. Did it on a tiger trout. Oh, I also got tropical fruit flavored punch. All right, now we'll just shake up our, oh. All right, oil is plenty hot. In fact, I think it's way too hot. And we're good. We're good. Nice breaded small mouth. Oh, ooh, caught from the lake right over there about an hour, two hours ago. Yeah, after we cook this fish up, we're gonna try this MRE. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, yeah, you're old. All right, now these shouldn't take more than a couple minutes on each side. I do want them nice and crispy. All right, so do a little tutorial MRE, because. I've never had an MRE. I've had the dehydrated meals, They're but these are too complicated for my brain. The best instructions of all of the all of the world, rock or something. Put your your meal in the bag. Oh, you got some Tabasco sauce in there? Yeah, there's a, there's a trick you can do with an MRE heater and Tabasco sauce, but I'm not going to teach it to y'all. What the heck? It makes uh, tear gas. All right, we're going to give these fish a quick flip. Look how red they look. They just look dangerous. It. And that just boils it? It should. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know what's going to be better, fresh fish or an MRE. Probably the MRE, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah, we got to find a rock or something. A rock or something. Hey, that's something. Hey, right there. Something. All right, these fish are done. We're going to turn the stove off. Nice and golden brown and orange and a bunch of colors. Fresh, smallmouth. It is caught a couple hours ago. All right, we'll let those guys drain and dry and cool off a little bit. Can we try this gum? Sure. Here, open that up. How old is this MRE? About a year old. Two years okay. old. So this isn't that old. Oh, that's super soft. Yeah, it's not that old. That's, it's not that old. that's pretty good. MRE gum. That's actually quite, quite good. Flavor's already gone. Mm -hmm. 40 seconds later. That's, that's a good experience. Three out of five stars. All right. Before we continue with the MRE, I want to try some of this bass. You can choose to partake or not, whatever. I'm going to go for one of these crispy pieces here. All right. Oh, I got a bone. <laughs> mm, not as much flavor as I hoped. Just got a little kick to it. That's about it. Oh, you can hear it sizzling. Listen, mm. hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the microphone, but we've got boiling water in there. That's crazy. It's only 300 calories in beef rubber. But I remember last time I had bass, it was like almost chewy or rubbery, but this is not. This is very soft. Doesn't have a whole lot of flavor on its own. It's pretty good though. Next time though, I'm gonna add a lot of salt to the flour because that hot sauce doesn't have enough flavor on its own. Wait, is this the banana nut? No, this is the wheat snack bread. You, know, you can eat it without the cheese. It's just bread. Not quite. It's chewy that bread. is very dry. Chewiest bread you've ever eaten. Well, that's actually not bad. Cheese I'd bread. have a sandwich with this. It's not it's not chewy. It's it's definitely not like store-bought bread, but it's not bad. Try the cheese bread. No. No. It, it tastes like easy cheese. It's disgusting. All right, what's next? A little uh, banana muffin top? Yes, that actually sounds good. It is 290 calories. Oh, heck yeah. You got crushed. Here, just give me a little finger full. It breaks apart real easy. It's dry. Oh, sweet. I got the <laughs> oxygen absorber. <laughs> the fire in the bread is. Oh my God. That's like eating flour. <laughs> 
That's good though. It's that so, is that is very good. It's so dry. Very good. It's so dry. <laughs> it just crumbles. It's literally like eating flour. Chocolate flavored flour. I don't taste no banana. Alright, that's good. But this bass, folks. I'm gonna call it. Solid three out of five stars. But we'll see how this beef ravioli is. It's hot. It's just Chef Boyardee. Mm. That's good. That's better than the dehydrated meal. Surprisingly good. First time ever having an MRE. I'm liking this banana bread flour stuff. It's literally just crumbs. Oh man. It's, it, it, the flavor is so good. Banana nut chocolate but it just dries you out you cannot swallow without water all right m&m m&m time hey oh wow they are crushed m&ms even those taste a little off they're a few years old they're not no. well that they're also kosher all right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Did a little MRE catch and cook there, too, which was kind of fun. Never had an MRE. Anyway, fun day out here. Caught a couple giant, well, not giant. I caught one giant smallmouth. Not your best day, but that's okay. Never are when I fish with you. Yeah, whenever he fishes with me, it's not good. I usually do all right. You want to shout out your Instagram or it's something? It's GDC.1502 or at just another space cowboy. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.